All right, so if I remember correctly, last time I left off, I needed more science to get more stuff. And it occurred to me a couple minutes ago that what I actually want to get my hands on as soon as possible, oh, uh, okay, I don't have it right now. There is a, I need to get, I do need to get that though. I need 90 science for that. But what I'm looking for is, it's called the Clampertron. Right? And basically, it allows me to dock two things in space together. Right? Works wonderfully. And I think it's up here somewhere. So we're going to need a whole lot more science. Uh, I definitely want to get my hands on that so I can get my um, RCS thrusters because that'll help me land on the moon much, much easier. Or at least it'll make landing on the moon much easier. Now, for some reason, when I start this thing, it says I have a flight in progress. Oh, because it's counting the stupid flag. Okay. So, never mind. See, I don't understand the point behind having the flags show up as uh, vehicles, because it's like... All it is, is it's just a flag. I mean, it should be a stationary object. You know? So, I mean, it's not going to move. It's not moving anywhere. I can't do anything with it. Yeah, so... I don't understand why they even have that... Why that shows up as an object. Maybe they'll fix it once the game... Because technically, this game is still not fully out yet. So, you know, there's that. So, we need to go back to the moon. And more importantly, we need to send a man up there to collect the necessary science. Now, normally this would be a big, huge problem because I'd be like, No, I've got to send a man to the moon. Oh, how am I going to get the power to do this? Oh, yes, sweet. I got the science junior. Sweet. More science always more science I'm gonna actually need two of those I want to do one out in space actually hang on since we're here while we're here might as well collect some free science right I know it's not a lot but hey what is these days there bam 16 science no more stupid point numbers either, please. Okay, so we're back. So, we're gonna need that. Wait, do I even have the ladders yet? I don't. I do have an antenna. Okay. We'll need that. We'll need that. But most importantly, we'll need these. Now, normally, well, I guess I could just do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Now, I would put a battery on here, but the solar panels kind of make the battery kind of useless. Kind of. But I guess we could, just for the heck of it. Do I have any more sciencey stuff? Ooh, wait. No, that's the communication thing. Uh, yeah. No, I don't. Not yet, anyway. So... And I'm going back with this, which I know I said the last time that it doesn't have the generator, but that's okay, because I have that now, so. It's all... Okay, I'm stopping there, because, you know, copyright infringement. I mean, I tell you... You know, I, fortunately, have not run into any of it just yet. But I'm sure as soon as... Oh, yeah. As soon as, um... Dragon Age 2 comes out, I will get hit with a lot of that copyright stuff, so. Because I do plan on doing some Dragon Age recordings when it comes out. Oh, yeah. So, let's see here. Uh, this. <laughs> Shut that off, or at least set that back to one. 
we're gonna need enough fuel, obviously, to get us into space. And to the moon. Now, what I really wish I had right now is the um, fuel line, because that would make this so much easier. A great deal easier, in fact. Impressively easier. But I think what I'm going to do... That is probably not going to have enough. Mm, that's four tanks. Wait. That one. Alright, so. Okay. That there. See, and there's that weird connection problem. No. Come on. There. Bam. Okay. Uh, no. I'm gonna need a bit more fuel than that, but just a bit. In order for this to work, I think. And of course, we're gonna go with those. Ugh. Now, normally, I'd say this thing would be good to go, but in this case, it's not, because what I want to do is I also want to add a bit of extra firepower to this. Hey, come on. There. So... I'm going to go here, and we're going to attach these. Like that. Okay, and then I need this, and this, to all fire. Oh, man. I just realized something. Okay, so hang on. That is not going to be enough fuel to get me to the moon. I'm going to end up running out before... Alright. That should work. Doesn't it look cool? I still don't have struts. So there's a good chance this thing is probably going to explode. But we won't know that until we try it. So... Gotta love that dangle. Now, I'm not worried about those overheating because they tend to do that. Man, this thing really needs struts. Now, I'm not worried too, too much about those explosions, because hopefully that wasn't anything major. Hopefully. Alright, so, I need to get this thing pointed there again. See that oscillation. But we should be alright. Okay, we're at our 10 mark. trying to get this thing to point towards 90, although it's really not wanting to do that. But in all honesty, I really don't care just so long as this thing actually gets into space. So we'll watch that Apple watch until it gets to about 100 until the fuel runs out, whichever comes first.
Ooh, we made 100 first. Surprise, surprise. So, yeah, we're a bit eccentric, but I should have plenty of fuel to pull this maneuver off, I think. Do, do, do. Delta V, yeah, we've got plenty of fuel to do this. Actually, it might work out in my favor that that section runs out of fuel just as... Now, unfortunately, the problem with this is I do tend to leave a lot of debris in space. I mean, I really wouldn't... Come on, stop, 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 stop. I keep forgetting up is down and down is up on this thing. ship looks like while I'm trying to do all this. Because, I mean, that reaction wheel has just, and I mean just, enough torque to do all this maneuvering stuff, so. Alright, come on. Now, hopefully, if I'm lucky, all of what will happen is all of this stuff will jettison off in a low enough... Okay, so, stop. It'll jettison off in a low enough arc that it'll still collide with the planet and disappear so because once it gets into an orbit it goes onto a rail system and once it's on that rail system it's nigh on impossible to get it off again so in t minus 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 burn those engines and look at that doesn't it look beautiful fantastic okay come on I'm not too worried about it just so long as this thing actually does get into orbit so I mean it said I shouldn't have enough Delta V to do this still kind of oscillating around, but it's going, so I'm get ready to cancel this out here in a second. There's our orbit mark, and we'll stop it there. Woo! A bit eccentric, but you know what? I think we can make it work. So, From here, I need to know how much we're going to need to get to the moon. <laughs> Ooh, this could just work out in my favor. He says, not realizing that his orbit is so eccentric that he's never going to reach the moon. Dang it. That thing's got 2,000 meters of delta V. Yeah, we're losing electric charge, which means we must be, yep, on the dark side of the planet. But that's okay, because no matter what happens, we will still be able to... Oh, I forgot to put another thing on there, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Aw, oh, man. Because I wanted to get the stuff from space as well as the moon. Oh. Okay, <clears throat> so this is going to be a bit of an issue. Because... Come on. Grab it. No. Grab it. So that's the only spot there where... I'm going to be on the same plane as the moon. So... What I need to do is I need to make a plane change, then, it looks like. Yes, yes, yes. There. And then pull that back in. Mm 
See, because there's a point in here somewhere where that is going to be approximately level. Since I can't get a, a, a since I can't get a um, target on the planet, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to find the spot where this thing pretty much goes level. Because at that point, what will happen is, when I try and do a plane change, because basically that will be the point at which a plane change is not going to so like that so it's almost even it's not quite but you see it's still kind of looped there so it should be about there I think is what it looks like what do you guys think about there There -ish. So whenever I do this, that shouldn't, that should do nothing but just pretty much rotate around. So if that, if the Apple Apps moves out, then it's not in the right spot. And basically what I'm looking for is I'm looking for that, uh, looking for that magical point. All right, this orbit is way too eccentric for me to do what I'm wanting to do here. This is what it looks like. Well, hang on. How's about there? Looks pretty flat to me. I think. But it still pulls that periaps. It still pulls my apps in, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Ugh. So many buttons. Hmm. See, most likely, it's not going to be right there next to. It should be roughly about halfway between the Apple Apps and Periaps, I thought. Mm, I'm really going to need to make a plane change, aren't I? So, here's what we're going to do then instead. Since there's no way I'm going to be able to get this thing into this position. Oh, bam, sunlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go ahead and take the science from here. 25, not much, but you know, hey, whatever. And we'll get this thing back to the planet. We'll take this thing back home again. Actually, you know what I want to do? Hang on. I need to find my prograde marker real quick. So I'll get rid of that. What I want to do first is I want to find the prograde marker. Ooh, 700 though. Right. And while I'm way out here, which actually I need, what I need to do is I need to get my Apple Apps higher. Much, 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 much higher. But I'm going to wait until I'm very near the Apple Apps to raise the Perry Apps to a ridiculous amount. Actually, you know what I'm probably going to do? That's probably a better idea, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. That is a better idea. Run time accelerate. We're going to go past the Apple Apps and we're going to wait till we're near the Perry Apps. So that way I don't get my Perry Apps way too high. And Because the goal here is going to be We're in about a minute's worth of that, which is plenty. We're on the dark side of the planet again, but that's really not going to matter because that engine will still fire up. And I need to get my Apple Apps to about 1 million. Because...
because that is sort of deep space, I guess you could say. Okay, so throttle up. Here's 500,000. Six, eight, one million. Yep, stop it, one million. So, okay. Now, we're going to time accelerate again. And get ourselves really, 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 really close to Apple Wax. So we're at 1.5. That should be good enough, I think. Because now we can do deep space science with this. If I can click on it. Wait a minute. That's a mild propellant tank. No! Wait, is it? That was a mystery goo container. Oh, that's why I can't click on it. There's still time accelerating. Haha, <laughs> oops. Okay, it's only 10 sides, but you know, hey, it's better than what I had. Alright, point this thing at... Point this thing at the retrograde marker. And since I'm very close to the periaps now, well, we'll get a little bit closer. A little bit closer... Just a bit, and about there, of course we have now overshot the retrograde marker, but that's okay. We're going to fire this engine up, doesn't need to be fired up for much for very long, to get this thing down to about, we'll take it down to 30. Hey, why do I keep wanting to press Z? Right, now, why am I taking that thing down to 30, you ask? Well, simple. Because I am going to do this. Yay. So, I lost some of the fuel in that tank. I know, terrible, terrible waste. The American economy is going to suffer, and we're all going to be jobless from now on. So, all right. Now that is going to go off and do wonderful, wonderful things to the planet. I.e. colliding into it at a very high rate of speed. So we're going to button prograde again to get our periaps back up. And watch as it drifts off in silence. We're not actually going to watch the drift off, in, drift off in silence, though. Hmm. Nice little scene there where the, uh... textured world meets up. Don't you think? Like, look, right there. Right where the mouse is. Run straight down. Interesting. I wonder if there's one on the other side. There is! See it? Right there. So is it a square? Nope. Very clever. Looks like it's two ball, two round uh, bubbles attached, two half bubbles attached together. Normally you'd be moving too quickly to actually see it. That's cool. All right. Anyway, enough playing around. So we've lost that piece of debris. Ah, now there it is. Way off there in the distance. And now it's gone. Okay. Like it should be. Because it should just like vanish after a few minutes. But it'll hit the atmosphere and it'll burn up and all that good stuff. As for me... I have other plans. What, you ask? Well, simple. Because if I do this... Wait a minute. Ah, time accelerated. You gotta watch out for that kind of stuff, man. So I do this. 
And I have him jettison off. Thank you. Nope, nope, nope. I thought I should be able to let him have him click the science. Yeah. Dang it. So we fly around here and we collect. All of this. And that ensures. So, like, now I can't do anything with it. So, we're going to select him, take an EVA report, 8 science. And get him back in there we go and board so that renders those completely useless so yeah that didn't work the way I wanted it to anyway alright we are close enough to periaps that this sh should kill my apple wax without destroying my periaps too too badly and we'll bring this right back down to a suitable level. And I want to land on the day side just in case I run into any nasty little problems. Okay, so that's going to take me down to 40, but that should be... Shouldn't be a problem. I don't think. Well, it's nice to know the landing gears worked and all that. But, if everything goes according to plan, we should be hopefully hitting land, so I should be able to try and bring, be able to bring this thing down roughly near land, or on land, and recover the whole doggone thing. Which, if I was in career mode, would be very important because this whole top capsule would be expensive and cost a lot of money. Whereas here, eh, it's not so bad. Here, it's all about the science. Because that's the way the world should be. Now, if you're wondering why this thing isn't using any electricity right now, that's because I'm not doing anything. So like if I turn on my uh, stability control, you see the zero kind of like ticks over because it's like 0 0.001. It's okay. We are now low enough into the atmosphere that we might start running into some minor problems. So when you're this low, it's always a good idea to time accelerate because nothing ever goes wrong during time acceleration. Now my hope is that we still have enough altitude and are carrying enough speed that even though we're going to hit 39,000 meters, it should kick us straight back the straight back out of the atmosphere again. Yeah, it's going to. Because I said, look at that. That's at 39.2, and we're already at 44. There we go. I always wish that yeah, switch that camera to free mode. Ooh, 37. We're coming up on it quick. Thirty-five, thirty-four. Doesn't look like we're gonna make it. No, we're not gonna make it. Ooh, sorry about that. So stability control on. Power.
actually we want to aim up a tiny bit there we go so I want to get this thing back to the day side if at all possible before it and I've got plenty of fuel to do this so I can quite literally like almost hold it where I want it to go Wow, there is no land around us for miles. And that, sadly, is not an exaggeration. I mean, I'll have to hit orbit just in order to be able to make landfall. Yeesh. Well, I should be... No, still not high enough. Where am I at? 36, 38, and climbing. Okay. So even with that, I mean, we are going back up, which is good. Because mm, I think I got to keep this thing above 60 in order to... Sure. Whew, that's a very low periaps, though. That's alright, because... Alright. So yeah, we should be good there. Because now we're not going to lose nearly as much speed as high up as we are. So, okay. And this thing's not going to send us careening back into the ground, at least not anytime soon. Then it's just a matter of fine-tuning my descent to my descent ratio. So that I can come back in and hit me. Which, as we all know, is going to be very, very easy to do. And we'll go ahead and add a stage here. There's no possible way this could go wrong. All I'm trying to do is land over here. Actually, I'm trying to land here because that's still in the sun. It should still be in the sun when I go to land. Come on, this thing should be breaking sunlight soon. Come on, hoo hoo! So, like, if we went across the ground now, it'd be like, woof, 600 meters. We wouldn't make it, by the way. Like, yeah, we just we wouldn't make it. And bam, periaps is gone. But we are almost, almost free of the planet uh, surface there we go because orbit's not going to do us any good and neither is that and there we go we should be free of the planet now and its gravitational pull I use air quotes but you can't see that so So eventually that's going to stop falling. And when that does, I don't know exactly how high I need to be up in order to keep this thing from falling back into the ground again. Which it looks like it's going to be about 65,000. Man, it's getting slower. Ooh, not 65. Sixty-six. 
We're about 67. Ooh, it's still inching down. 68. Oh, still slowly ticking. Sixty-nine. It's trying to go down. So it looks like the magical number is seventy. No, it's still falling. Wow. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Because obviously it's not gonna go back up. Not unless I hit the engines. But I want that number to basically stop falling. Because once it stops falling, it just stays stationary at one specific number. That is the minimum altitude I need to be at to keep my craft in space. So there's 74 and still no. What about 75? It fell just at 75, so we're going to see if it falls any more. Nope, not 75. Wow, I cannot believe that. But, where this is all fun and fun and dandy, we are getting very close to our target, which is Apoaps. Which means what I need to do is I need to prepare to burn retrograde so that I can bring my periaps or at the very least my landing zone see that says impact biome grasslands which I'm assuming is saying just this whole biome not the water wow I mean this thing is almost at 80,000 feet 8,000 meters and it's still falling Interesting. I love how the frame rate shoots up there. Ooh. All right. We get little frame rate hiccups here and there, but that's all right. I so said I need to make sure that at the very least this point is touching right here. Because where the planet's going to rotate, it's also going to take me time to get down there, so. But my periaps is holding steady. Ooh, wait. Nope. Still falling. So we're almost there. So about ooh, a thousand meters to go and then we'll hit our maximum height for going up and then we're going to start going down again. Ooh, 600, 5, 4. Three, ooh, two. No, that's three. That's three right there. Don't listen to me before. That's two. One. Because, of course, as these two numbers start to balance out, this one's going to stop climbing eventually. And when that does, there it is, there. So that's all I needed to do, I know, all that weight, all that torturous, agonous weight, just for me to do that. That's right. Well, we're going to time accelerate through the rest of this. Set time accelerate. 
I like the fact that they added that you can now can kind of control your ship while in time acceleration. Which makes life easier on smaller ships, I think. So, eventually this thing is going to start moving. Now, my hope is that by the time it does start moving, I'll be near enough to landfall that... So, I mean, I'm about halfway now, so, I mean, I should, should, in theory, be able to make landfall with this. Now, we're coming in pretty fast and pretty shallow, so naturally, we should explode. But, fortunately, this is a video game, so those sorts of things never happen. Never. Don't just randomly explode. <laughs> Yahoo. Ah, those beautiful flame effects. We'll shut the uh, controls off. Let's see what the flame effects look like with the gears down. Oh, yeah, hitting that drag. All about that drag. Now, the cool thing is I actually can make adjustments to this. According to this, I'm going to smack clean, yep, right into the water. But that's okay, because as we come in, we're going to need some stability here. Said here. All right. Now, unfortunately, this engine is not going to be able to do much, but it should get me just enough power with just enough time to stabilize. <laughs> ah, look at that. And move this thing a little bit closer to land. So we'll drop the power a bit more. So I kind of want to keep going down. I just don't want to go spearing straight into the ground. Gotta love rockets. So I'm still saying shores, but I'm not liking where that arrow is dropping. And I would love to have it about here. Actually, I would love to have it about here. But sometimes we can't always get what we want. But if you try sometimes, you might find you get what you need. Ooh, man, we are about to run out of fuel. But we are in the right spot, more or less. Still trying to bring me down. Let's see, I was really trying to get it to go. That. Now, I'm not worried about that happening. That's fine, because that means I should have just enough fuel to make landfall over here. Oh, and if you're wondering about my speed, don't worry about that either. Because I've still got 5,000 feet, or 5,000 meters. Why do I keep saying feet? But as soon as I see that we are about to hit land, which it looks like we've got landfall there. It ain't pretty, it ain't perfect. But, jettison that, open the chute, not going to be able to save the science, but I will get a beautiful explosion. See the shadow? 
Mm, oh, gotta love that sound. I probably could have if I just like straight opened the chute, but you know what? You didn't want to see all that. You wanted to see an explosion. Or something that was supposed to go to the moon, but didn't quite make it. But we did collect a little bit of science, so. Recover the craft. 61. We got 44.7 science from that. 